Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. For today's video I thought I would film an ASOS haul because I did do a haul for my last video but I didn't really have any ASOS in it. There was one ASOS piece but I know that you guys love ASOS and I love ASOS and it reminded me of how much I love ASOS so I immediately went on afterwards and had a little bit of a look, had a bit of a shop and I ended up placing an order. It is a fairly big order, I think there's about 12 pieces maybe, so yeah, a good size for a haul, so there's plenty of pieces that hopefully you will like. I've tried to stay clear from knitwear because as you would have seen in my last haul, I picked up quite a few pieces and it is obviously getting into spring, so I wanted to make this a bit more of like a spring transitional haul, so pieces that you can wear now but also wear in the spring so that you can get like the most use out of them. But yeah, there is one jumper, I did fail slightly, and there is one cardigan, but cardigans are a spring essential, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight into it. I am going to do a try on haul. I haven't actually tried on any of these pieces before, so I'm going to try and do like a first impressions whilst I try it on. So yeah, it came oh, in this massive box. I think this is because I ordered a coat, so it was quite heavy. So yeah, I lied. I have tried on one of these pieces already, just because I was going to wear it. I think I decided not to wear it in the end. I thought I'd save it until I'd show you in the haul. But yeah, it is this t-shirt from Tommy Jeans by Tommy Hilfiger and it's just one of these really simple white slogan t-shirts, it just says Tommy on the front. I love it a lot more than I thought I would love plain white graphic tee, but yeah, the material is really nice, it's ever so slightly sheer but you can't see through it, if you know what I mean, so it just makes it look a lot more lightweight and it's really soft and comfy and it drapes really nicely and I really like the fact that the writing as well isn't like harsh black, it's also kind of a bit faded and burnt out, so, so this is the t-shirt on, like I said, just super comfy, super casual, I really like the fit of it, I've just tucked it in slightly, but this is what it looks like untucked. Just really nice, really nice fit. I think I got this in a small, if I remember correctly, so not too oversized. I just wanted a really simple casual t-shirt. And yeah, I just love the material. I think I'll just wear it loose just because it's so easy to throw on. And then the next thing is the cardigan that I was talking about. And I actually bought this kind of to go with the t-shirt because I really love the look of cardigans with a really slouchy tee and distressed blue denim. It's just a really nice kind of short cardigan but oversized. It's got these slightly back winged sleeves and yeah I just thought it'd be a really nice colour to add to my wardrobe and also it just looks really nice and slouchy and comfy. So this is the cardigan on. I actually really like it. I think it looks really good with this kind of colour palette. I think it would look really cool with like distressed or like washed out black jeans as well or even vinyl trousers, I don't know, I really love orange, I think it's coming up slightly brighter on camera than it actually is, I will link it down below anyway so hopefully you can see the better colour there, but yeah I really like it, I don't know if I'd wear it loads just because obviously it is orange, it's not going to go with everything. So next up is something that I was really excited about actually, mainly because I'm intrigued to see how it works and you'll see why. So it is this top, I did take this out of the wrapping as well but I haven't tried it on at all, so yeah it is this top. It's like one of those satin cami tops with the lace and um, adjustable straps and everything. It's just a really nice kind of v-neck neckline, but then it's longer. So it's actually kind of probably down to my knees, I would say it would be. But it's got a slit which comes right up to my waist. So yeah, I just thought this would be really cool for layering over kind of blue jeans with strappy heels for the evening or even when it gets to more summertime you could wear like a denim skirt or denim shorts underneath. So this is the top on and oh my god I absolutely love it. I know it's not the kind of thing you could wear all the time but I think for evenings it'd be really cool or for parties and you could potentially dress this down and wear trainers if you did want to wear it in the daytime maybe to like a lunch or something but yeah I love it I think it's just so different I have tucked it in a little bit just because I thought you could see the jeans better but you could also just wear it like that and then you just see a little bit I'd probably wear it tucked in if I was wearing jeans but then just like this if I was going to wear shorts or something underneath. So next up is a pair of jeans and if you saw my last haul video, which I will link down below by the way, you will have seen that I picked up a pair of redone jeans which I absolutely love, but obviously they are quite expensive, they are a higher price point so I wanted to see if I could find a cheaper high street alternative. So I wanted to try out their Farley jeans, I haven't seen these before in this blue wash, so these are the Prince Wash Farley jeans and I just thought they were really similar, they're not quite the same, they are a slightly warmer blue I would say, but I just really really liked the fit of them, they're really high waisted, they're a thicker denim and they're like a 
I don't know what you'd say, like a skinny straight leg. They're not super skinny, but they're not straight. So yeah, I really liked them. So hopefully you can see, but these are the ASOS Farley jeans. I really, really love them. On me, they are actually quite a skinny fit. They're not like skinny, skin tight jeans, but as you can see, they are fairly skinny, just not super tight around the ankle. But that might be as well, because I did get these in a the waist 24, and my God, are these tight. I've managed to get them on, I've managed to do them up, and they don't feel too bad now. But they did take me a couple of minutes to get on, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, I would say maybe stick to your normal size of these. I normally get a 25 in ASOS, although I get 24 most other places. Oh, I really want to keep these, but I just got the redone ones, so I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> The next thing I picked up is a dress, and I love dresses. I struggle a little bit with spring dresses because I really like either big kind of lots of material chiffon -y dresses, which I probably wear more in the autumn with like knee-high boots, or I like really dainty little summer sundresses. So I picked up this dress. This is just like a square necked checkered straight down, I don't know what you'd say, like shift dress maybe kind of style and I just thought I would pick it up and see if I could make it work in my wardrobe. I thought maybe I could layer it with a lace top underneath like the one I got in my last haul or even like a plain white tee or I could just wear it obviously with nothing underneath and then wear like maybe like a big chunky cardigan over the top. So this is the checkered dress on and I'm really not sure on it, I really wanted to love it but Firstly, I think it's just too big for me. I think I definitely need to get a four, so I would say size down if you're ordering this because it is just, I think, a little bit oversized. And also, I'm just not sure if I think it's too long, maybe. I don't know if they do a petite or if this was petite. I don't know. I'll have to have a look, but I think it's a little bit long. I don't know. I think it's just a little bit crumpy in a way. I just don't think it's the most flattering. I really love the neckline and I really love the print, but I just think it just doesn't really do much for me. So I was clearly feeling adventurous when I placed this order because I picked up something which I would never normally go for and that is a bright orange top. So this is by the brand Weekday which I love, I've featured them quite a few times, I worked with them back in like late summer and yeah I really love their pieces, they're really high quality and I think they're a really good price point. So I thought I would try something different out, I'm just, I'm not sure if this will suit me. I do really like orange on myself personally but I never normally go for something this bright. I think it's showing even brighter on camera, it is ever so slightly more muted, hopefully you'll see it in the try on clip. Okay, so this is the weekday top. I absolutely love the colour of this, especially with blue denim like this. I think it looks so cool with the ripped jeans. But yeah, I'm just not sure if this style of top is very me. It's it's a bit smart, but also quite edgy, I would say. I don't know, I don't normally go for things like this. I think it fits really nicely and it feels really nice. It's really good quality and it is just a really nice pop of colour. I just think, will it be one of those things that I love? It just sits in my wardrobe unworn because I'm kind of too scared to wear it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I think this would look amazing on so many people. So next up, I told you I picked up just one jumper and this is it. It's by the brand Selected Femme and it's this really beautiful, delicate jumper in this kind of like blush pink nude shade. Kind of similar to like a lighter version of my top. This is like my favourite colour to wear at the moment. I absolutely love it. And I just thought this would be really nice because I don't know if you can see, but it is just a really lightweight jumper. It's kind of a little bit holy but it's really soft. I just thought this with like a denim skirt maybe would look really cool or even like light wash jeans or you could even wear it with like leather trousers and a big chunky aviator jacket now if it was really super cold. So this is the Selected Firm jumper, the one jumper which I allowed myself to order and I absolutely love it. I've just paired it with this skirt which I've had for ages. I will try and link a similar one below because I'm actually surprised by how much I've worn this. It's a really wearable colour if like me you wear a lot of nudie tones. So yeah, anyway, this jumper I didn't want to love it as much as I do but I really really love it, especially as a spring jumper. It's just really super lightweight, I really like the knit, I think it looks really super expensive. It reminds me a little bit of the jumpers that Ganny are doing at the moment, which I adore. I absolutely love this. I think I'm going to have to keep it. I was really counting on not loving this because my jumper collection is ridiculous. But So next up is something which is quite summery, but I thought I'd pick it up now because I know it's the kind of top that I just wear so much. And it is this top. It's one of these, like, what is this fabric called? Like crochet, broderie anglaise, something like that. Uh, fabric tops in white, obviously, and it's got these little bardo sleeves. And I love anything off shoulder that has these sleeves because it means you can still wear a jacket and they're not going to pop up. And so this is the broderie anglaise, I think, top on. It's really super nice. It's 
quite oversized which I do like I think with jeans it'll look really nice I'm not sure with the skirt but yeah it is quite sheer so one thing I will say is it is quite a sheer top so maybe one to save for holidays or in the middle of summer maybe not so much spring but I just love the way it sits I really like the arms I think it's really nice and flattering and yeah I like the fact that you could tuck it in like this or wear it untucked with maybe like skinny jeans or something so yeah so the next thing is a coat and I'm not 100% sure if this is something I'll keep but I just wanted to order it and give it a go because it's something a little bit different for me and it is this coat from River Island it is brighter than I thought but I still really like it it's this kind of like houndstooth checkered coat in pink and white if you can see I don't know I just thought this would be really cool just paired with again some distressed blue jeans and my Dior boots, my leather ones, for something really simple and casual, just add a little bit of colour but also keep me warm. I would say like a medium weight coat, so this is perfect for like this time of year. So this is the bright pink River Island coat on, I absolutely love it, I'm not sure if I love it on me but I love it as a coat, I think it fits really nicely, sits really nicely, I think it looks really expensive, and I just really love the pop of colour and how it looks with blue denim. I'd probably wear it with a white top but not this one just because of the cutouts. But yeah, I absolutely love it. This is an 8. I am normally a UK 4 to 6. So I did size up just because I really like the look of coats, this shape being really oversized. But you could just stick to a normal size as well. I think that would be fine. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Again, let me know your thoughts because I absolutely love this. But it was £85, so I don't want to keep it if I'm not going to necessarily wear it. So next up, I have another pair of ASOS jeans just because I wanted to try these out. They're a little bit different for me. These are the Florence jeans. I think these are the recycled version so I don't know ever so slightly different they feel like slightly more of like an aged denim so maybe that's what it means and these are in like the bluey green wash that they do I will link them down below obviously along with everything else so you can see properly but yeah these are more of like a straight leg jean which I never really go for but I wanted to see what they looked like especially in this kind of colorway because I don't have any jeans this color I really liked slightly green denim I think it looks really cool and really vintage so I just wanted to try it out I got these in a waist 24 leg 28 because these these are the petite range so hopefully you can see but these are the Florence jeans I believe they were the recycled ones I haven't done these up properly because they have buttons and I do like buttons because they're more authentic but they are a pain so they are really tight these are the waist 24 these I would say are just I think they are tighter than the other jeans I tried on because they're just they feel really tight on the thighs I don't know if it's because they're a thicker denim and then the waist isn't as high-waisted which I'm not a huge fan of I love really high-waisted jeans it doesn't bother me too much but my problem is that I get a little bit of a gape here when they're not too high-waisted so yeah I don't know if maybe I could size up and then use a belt to bring them in maybe just so they sit a bit nicer but I'm not sure I do really like them I really like the color and I really like the rips they are like a good cropped length for me. If I was to wear these with heeled boots or something, I think they'd look really good. So yeah, I'm undecided. Let me know what you think. Next up is something super simple. It's quite similar to the top I'm wearing now, actually. And it's just this really cute, stripy, bardo sleeve off shoulder top with... It's like black with burgundy red and white stripes and yeah it's got this like ruffle along all the edges which I really like similar to this and I just really like these tops again with denim this would look really nice actually with this denim skirt kind of tie in the white so next up is this stripy top and as I thought I absolutely love it with this skirt I don't know I really like the fact that it ties in the white with the cream and I really love red with cream so yeah really like it I think it's really super flattering it's a really nice comfy fit it's not too tight but not too loose I know it's not going to fall down or anything it was like 10 or 12 pounds so it's such a good basic I know that I'll just wear this all the time even just around the house and then the last thing from ASOS is these sunglasses and I just love the whole crazy sunglasses trend at the moment and I thought these were a little bit more wearable I know they're bright pink but I think the shape is slightly more wearable I do really love a cat eye sunglass I thought I'd try them I'm not sure what they'll look like on me I can't I don't know I can't really see myself properly so you'll have to let me know in the comments so moving on to misguided this first thing I did actually pick up on ASOS but it's by misguided so I thought I'd just group it in with the misguided pieces and it is this top so it's a black and white stripy top and it's got these kind of flared end sleeves and then it kind of like ties up 
at the front but quite low. You'll have to see this in the cutaway for me to describe it. But I thought this would just be really nice for evenings and I could either wear it on its own or I could wear like a lace bodysuit from Bloomsbury Intimates under it or like an actual lace little bralette, I don't know. So this is the stripy misguided top on and I actually love this a lot more than I thought I would. I kind of ordered it on a whim because I just thought it was something a bit different for me but I actually really like it. It fits really nicely. I haven't really tied it up properly, I've just done one knot although I'd probably bow it properly so it stayed in place but yeah I don't even think I need anything underneath because when you tie it it doesn't actually go that low cut especially if you wear it with something high waisted like this you can really tie it a little bit tighter and I really like the sleeves I really like the way it looks with blue denim actually so I could even wear this in the daytime with like some trainers or you could dress it up next from misguided I picked up this fur coat and I know we're going into spring so perhaps a big chunky fur coat isn't the most practical of options but I really like these anyway and I thought just with like a really simple outfit underneath I could wear it in the daytime or I could still wear it in the evening because it's still going to be chilly in the evenings for a little while. I don't have any uh, fur jackets in this colour and I didn't actually realise that it has these kind of like silver panels here which I'm not sure on but it's not too bad. They're kind of like silvery gold so I think they would pretty much go with anything and it just gives it a bit of shape and texture which I do really like. So this is the fur jacket on. As I said, it is super big and super fluffy. It's a really nice kind of crop to length. I'd probably wear this with vinyl trousers and a plain top underneath and just have this as the main statement of the outfit. But yeah, I really love it. It's so warm. It's a really nice shade of gray. I think it's really flattering and it's really high quality. It was about 60 pounds, but I have seen way more expensive faux fur coats than this. So for the price, I think that you're getting a really good quality coat. And then I just picked up a couple of more basic long sleeve tops because where we're getting into spring, I like to wear a lot more long sleeve tops because then that way I don't have to wear such a heavy jacket. I can just wear something like this with a cardigan or a leather jacket and I'll be perfectly fine. So the first one I picked up is more of a jumper kind of top. It's got this high sweatshirt kind of ribbed neck and then it's got these poppers here, which are real, you can unpop them, so I guess you could wear it a little bit open if you wanted to, and then just plain long sleeves. And I just really liked this just for a little bit of detail. I thought with high-waisted jeans would look really cool, or leather trousers, or vinyl trousers, I don't know. I thought this would just be a really good basic. So this is the top on with the poppers. I really like it, it's really flattering. I feel like it makes you look really mini because of how the poppers kind of angle in. And yeah, I just think it sits really nicely. I really like the high neck. I like the slightly sporty vibe that this little like sweatshirt band detail gives. And it's a really nice thick jersey. It's not like thin or really too stretchy or flimsy or anything. So it actually really holds you in nicely and sits really well. So yeah. And then this next one I mainly picked up when I read what the fabric was because it described it as like a brushed cotton or something, which is the kind of fabric that IOMI, the brand that makes this top, use a lot. And I really love it. It's super soft, super comfy, super flattering. So I had to pick this up just basically because of that. But I also really loved the shape of this. I just really liked the high neck with the really big deep cutout shoulders. I just thought it'd be super flattering. So this is what the cutout shoulder top looks like on. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I just think it's so flattering. I kind of wish I'd got it in a smaller size so it was a little bit tighter, but it's still fine. It still fits really nicely. It just means that it kind of bunches up a little bit. But yeah, I absolutely love it. The only thing I will say it is that it is slightly thin, which means it's ever so slightly sheer. And also if you don't wear a bra, you might have a little problem there, but I don't mind too much. That doesn't really bother me, but if it isn't that bothers you, you might just want to get like a stick on bra or something to wear underneath I don't know but yeah really like this just really simple but really super flattering so yeah that is everything I really hope you enjoyed this video please do let me know what your favorite piece was in the comment section below I'm not sure what mine is at the moment as always everything will be linked down below along with my social media so that you can see any outfits I may post with these pieces or any other pieces I do often also share new in pieces on my insta stories instead of saving them for hauls so do check that out if you'd like to see my new purchases I am also updating my blog so that my shop page and my wishlist page will be a lot more up to date so yeah check that out as well and I'll stop telling you to check out the description box now <laughs> please like this video if you did enjoy it and subscribe to see more of my videos I will be moving unfortunately in a couple of weeks time it wasn't my decision but it's all been sorted now I found a really lovely flat so I am gonna hopefully be doing some moving vlogs if not I'll do kind of like a apartment tour 
of the before of the flat and then after I've all moved in and maybe like a homework haul. Hopefully I won't need to buy too much because it is quite a similar flat to this. So, And I know so many of you have been asking for an apartment tour of this flat, so I will be filming that before I leave. Don't you worry, you'll be able to see it all. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. That was a really rambly ending to the video and I will see you next time. Bye!